Hey guys, this is Keith, and welcome to my Shadow Tower Let's Play. I'm gonna start off a new file. For those who don't know, this is, well, a predecessor to Demon Souls and Dark Souls. It's a game made by From Software back in the uh, PlayStation 1 era. So deep in the forest, beside an ancient tower, there was once a town. That's a very hard font to read. <laughs> Darkness swallowed all and closed a gate. What is the meaning of these words? Darkness came again, and Eep was devoured? <laughs> That's a... I tried. A young warrior came to challenge the darkness. Or just challenge darkness, I guess. And then there was black screen. Oh no, the darkness won. I'm so sorry, everybody. I already failed. Oh, we're loading. So right off the bat, you can see a lot of uh, storytelling and thematic and visual uh, consistency with the two Souls games that are out so far. There's a land in a fantasy world, and it was consumed by darkness. And up. Oh. <sighs> Welp! So in case you were wondering, why yes, the game does spawn you on a super narrow catwalk where if you make the mistake of experimenting with what buttons do, you're going to immediately fall off a ledge and kill yourself. And why yes, when you hit, when you die, you have to hit new game or load game, and since I haven't gotten a chance to save yet, <laughs> I have to go all the way back to the main menu so that I can hit select new game again, because even though it says new game... It's, it's like a weird translation problem or something. Like, it says new game on the main menu, but it doesn't actually make a new game. It takes you to the main menu. Not main menu, I'm sorry. It says new game on the death screen, but then it sends you back to the main menu where you have to select a new game again if you want to continue. So, so this game... It has very questionable controls. I can't... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you me trying to go through the first area with those default controls just to express how weird they can be. Uh, you use, you use, use L1 and R1 to strafe. You rotate and move forward and backwards with the D-pad. Uh, L2 looks up and R2 looks down. I'm serious, you look up and down and strafe with the four triggers. You press triangle to use your right hand, le uh, square uses your left hand, uh, triangle uses your right hand. Uh, it's very unfortunate controls. But thankfully, and this I'm very thankful for this, the game, even though it, even though it doesn't have a... Uh, how, how am I not hitting him? There we go. I only had to try a million times. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be controlling this game a lot better in a second when I switch to... when I remap the controls. But I wanted to express how difficult it can be to play the game. <laughs> When you're trying to figure out which button strafes and, and which button looks down. <laughs> oh, this is a fascinating game. It came out around the same time that the analog sticks came out for the, uh, the PlayStation 1 controller. But it came out a year earlier in Japan and they didn't add analog support when they re-released it in North America. So despite having analog controllers in the market, it doesn't have analog stick control, which means you have to play a first play a first person RPG in uh, less than ideal D-pad control with no joysticks, which you know that could go better. So I'm gonna f I'm gonna go and fix these controls now. I'm gonna set it up with traditional uh, two joystick controls. Basically, it's gonna be my my D-pad makes me f move forward, bend backwards, and strafe. But the face buttons are going to allow me to uh, look around. So it'll be a little weird, because instead of two joysticks, I'm essentially using two D-pads in a way. But it's so much more ideal. Look at this. Look at me. It's magic! I, I'm, running into, I'm running into a wall. <laughs> Look at this. I can control myself and attack normally. I should put actual items on my body. Because I found a helmet. Look at them stats. And armor. There we go. Now I'm harder to kill. So much the pro. So now... Despite being a first-person game, I have I have assigned my weapons to L, to L1 and R1, so it actually controls 
more traditionally like uh, like Dark Souls and Demon Souls do. And I'm going to continue through this deadly traffic-filled dungeon. Actually, I don't know if there's traps, but there are monsters. As you can see, the, the same general concept has been applied from the... Wow, I'm doing very bad right now. I feel like I'm def def deflecting weird off of something. There we go. I was like moving slightly to the left every time I ran up to him and I wasn't quite sure why. So I got a morning star. Was there any was there an item up here? Oh there it is. More healing items. In this game, healing items always heal you 100 percent But there's a limited supply of them, of course. So you, uh, you generally would want to wait till you've actually taken some damage before you want to heal. Because you don't <clears throat> you don't have the different grasses like you do in Demon Souls, where you can sit there and, and keep uh, what do you call it? You can't sit there and, and like use very specific types of healing items in order to deal with different amounts of damage like you can in, De in Demon Souls. It's closer to Dark Souls where you have one static form of healing. Although in Dark Souls it wasn't really your full health, it was just, you get this much health back. There we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually show you that healing right now. I have to remember what items, what buttons do what. <laughs> See, so healing potion times one. Now I'm back to 100, 1,000 health. So let's wait for this guy to lunge at me so I can go between attacks. Or not. Or he's just gonna... Hey, dude. You're just not gonna see me? That's fine. That's fine. I'll just circle strafe you to death. Not, not entirely psyched about the super slow... Uh, super slow item pickup process where it slowly comes at the camera. And then you get to interact with it. Uh... You probably noticed that it has the stamina bar from uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, except it completely depletes between attacks. Here's some familiar writing on the wall. Was it we who sinned, or is it the blood of man itself which is the crime? Well, that's... You, you, go, you go ponder that, I'm gonna go kill monsters. Is there anything in here? No bad guys, okay. And no items, okay, nothing in here. It's a graveyard? Oh, what the fuck is you? Oh, what the fuck is you? No. No. You're gonna get stabbed, you creepy bats. Creepy bats go to hell. You ready to go to bat hell? There we go. One down. Is there one turning towards me yet? Oh, they, they rotate very slowly, don't they? Oh, jeez, he hit me. Here, I'm gonna express how the attack works. See, now I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna hit him when I don't have. See, I'm doing. I'm doing zero damage, as you can tell in the bottom left corner. So it's actually it's super important to wait for the stamina bar to recharge because now I'm doing 67 damage. So you basically, just have to sit there and wait for it to come back Care and carefully aim. It's not always super easy to tell if you're actually facing quite the right angle or if you're close enough to hit them. Oh, look! Look at that. Got ourselves a sword. I have to get used to the habit of picking up swords with the left, uh, with L2. Because <laughs> uh, it's default to X, but I'm using X to move and rotate the camera and stuff. Because I feel like that's a better solution. I like I like the uh, variety we have so far. I fought like two or three slimes, then two or three spiders. Or four, four or five spiders probably. And then I'm fighting two bats now, and I'm in a graveyard. If, if it's consistent with Demon Souls and Dark Souls, the level de design and monster placement should be all over the place, which I am. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! I just interacted with that wall. Okay. Where's that sound coming from? So two... Oh. So two of these gravestones don't have fences around them, and one of them has like a... Two of them have like little tracks on them. Oh, look at that. I got a thing. I think that's the currency in this game. Oh, is it moving? Is it moving? Oh, just, blah. Why, hello there, sir. How are you doing today, attacking air? Is that what gets you off? You like attacking air? Whatever do, whatever do to you. Okay. That's me fucking up at the circle strafe attack. There we go. That's much better. Dude, you are not a friendly man. Have you considered moisturizing? I don't know how that would help you be friendlier, but it'd probably help you with a lot of other problems. <laughs> are you dead yet? Oh, wow, you're still alive. 
I really like this form of combat. Uh, <clears throat> the obviously the controls are less than ideal, but I like the I like the sort of slow, deliberate feel to it. That is much akin to the later Souls games that everyone's familiar with. And speaking of consistency, not only oh god, I fucked that up bad. Uh, wow, I'm really bad at hitting people with weapons. Okay, this game's a little too unforgiving with the aiming, isn't it? <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I promise I'll get better at this. There we go. See, I hit him twice in a row. That's like a streak or something. Got us some armor. Let's see. I think my previous armor was only padded, so I should probably equip that. There we go. That's way better armor. Okay. I think I got a better sword. That's a short sword. Long sword. There we go. I did I read I read up on a guide before starting this series. Uh not I didn't read like levels or anything like that, but I read about uh just general gameplay concepts so I wouldn't have no idea what I was doing. Ooh. We found a secret. What's in what's this? More currency. So I have an idea of like what what is money in this game and how uh how leveling works and items and stuff like that so i know in this game you have to watch out on durability because items deplete durability as they continue and a lot of them are really valuable items that you want to keep around and don't want to just let uh, be destroyed but the moment they get broken or whatever I, th I think i think when they hit zero uh durability they don't disappear but you can't use them and repairing them at that level when they have that amount of damage on them is actually really expensive There we go, one hit shots. Oh, speaking of durability, here we go. That's the little chest that you use. That little chest looking item is what uh, repairs durability of items. So when something's about to break, I can use that to make it repair. There we go, got that guy. It's really, I'm, it's actually, I'm somewhat surprised just how consistent this does feel with the Souls games. Like already, not only do we already have secrets in the environment, we have the, we already have a claustrophobically dark and closed looking area, just like you would expect in a Souls game. Both Demon Souls and Dark Souls have levels where you just can't see more than like five feet away from your opponent. Oh shit! Die! Oh, it's still alive. This thing has some sort of AOE thing going on where it's hitting, it's hurting me just for being near it. And now he's dead. So really, I'm the, I'm the winner in the end. Uh, where are we going? This game does not have a map, though. And it does not have music, which is a interesting move. I would like to think that it's a attempt at some sort of thematic consistency. And not just them not feeling like putting music in a game. Because that's kind of disappointing. You have an idea. The idea that they're like, well... It's Music costs money and effort, right? So let's... No, let's not do that. Is everything dead in here? Ooh, another sword. That might be the same short sword I already have. Hello? <laughs> Why? What are you here for? Is that money behind you? No, it's your tail. <laughs> you wanna... You wanna talk? Oh, he talks. You are here to destroy all the monsters? <laughs> this area was built by men, yet not many around. No, no, but there are some of your kind below. Okay, so they definitely had weird RP uh, NPCs well, before. This was used as an altar long ago by people who worshipped demons. Oh, part of it was also used as a prison. So it's a worshipping location and a prison. Subtle. This tower is divided into six worlds, and each one has a ruler. They are as powerful as you might imagine. <laughs> so we have six worlds with bosses in them again. That seems pretty consistent with Dark Souls. and I mean, I mean Demon Souls. You'll be able to exchange these for all sorts of items. The lower demons exchange them for souls. Oh, but I don't need them. No. 
I'm noticing that what he says doesn't qua whoa. That's adorable. That's adorable. Oh, it's like he said, he doesn't need the uh he doesn't need money, so he's gonna give it to me. Okay, that's very nice of you, strange little marsupial thing. I'll take your money, gladly, and use it on probably use it on killing. I mean this precedent. I'm probably going to kill fools with money. Literally, no, just literally the coins. I'm going to stab people with coins. It, it's an effective, pro it's a totally legit effective strategy. Can I just avoid that guy? Oh, he still hurt me. God damn it. Well, I'm just gonna go. Oh shit, he's still hitting me. Ah. There we go. Da God damn, I did 178 damage. Maybe I think I might do more damage from behind. I thought I was doing like a hundred damage earlier. It might be doubling my damage when I attack him from behind. Don't actually remember if that's a thing in this game or not. I don't see any more items around here. Let's look in this little hallway. Another another message. That I can't quite there we go. In the name of a false hero, comrade slew comrade to the last. Captain Apollos as well. Oh, well that's that's dandy. I'm sure you guys are all friendly folks with no weird issues to deal with at all. What is wrong with your What's left? There's nothing left of your face. Oh, you've been here for a while. What's in here? It's an empty room? With, with items. Items. I got so much of the healing items. What's that sound? Don't make sounds at me, game. I'm trying to get items. <laughs> You're making me nervous about weird distant things. There we go. No, no. Sorry, so I suddenly have the uh, the Demon Souls theme stuck in my head. That chanting. That, that haunting chanting. I'm wondering if I should add... I don't know if I'll do it in part one, just to properly represent the game, but I might try to add background music quiet in the background that's something slow and dreary sounding instead of silence that the game offers. Hey. Hey, buddy. You wanna die? You wanna die? What are you doing? You, you just gonna attack nothing? Haha. -ha. <laughs> you didn't account for this strategy, the one where I hit you with the sword. More boots. There we go. So now I've got some items to wear. That's fucking ominous looking. What is that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there's a ramp. There's a ramp on the ground pushing me towards it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's put these boots on real quick. There go. I don't think I found gloves yet. No? So there it says, like, I have three cunes. Uh, cunes are the currency in this game. As you might have noted. Uh, that's the, those are the coins I was picking up along the way. I don't like that weird dark shadow that's coming out of that guy. What are, this, are there sounds around here? Yeah, if that, guy's, if that guy's attached to the ceiling and he just attacks right there, then I can just go past that guy. And then no, have him be none the wiser. I don't need to fight you. Oh look, look at this. We found a save point. 